The fifth round of the Shamkir chess tournament was the last of the first half. Magnus Carlsen arrived in the playing hall about 10 seconds after the clocks had been started, quickly shook hands with his opponent Temur Rajabov and started his game. Where he had played the semi-slot before, Rajabov returned to his beloved King's Indian for this big game. And it was a big game, because Carlsen lost. He again wasn't in his best shape and misjudged the middle game position. Carlsen sacrificed an exchange and thought he was still better, but in reality he had to be careful. In time trouble Rajabov found his way through the complications and ended up winning the game convincingly. Later in the day it would become clear that Rajabov is the new tournament leader, because Fabiano Caruana also lost his game, but more about that later. For Carlsen it was the first time in three and a half years that he lost twice in a row. Obviously, at the press conference he was asked what was going on. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, right now I just don't have any, have any energy and my opponents are, are playing well. Um, they're fighting better than I am. And um, yeah, I just I I really need a a rest day now and to somehow try and and uh, and regroup because right now it's uh, it's not working. So all our games were in general interesting, but uh, result-wise, of course, this one is uh, the most uh, memorable out of uh, last uh, six years or something. And as mentioned, the other tournament leader Fabiano Caruana lost as well. He was a pawn down for a long time, but the ending with queens and opposite colored bishops was still a draw, until Caruana made a big mistake in a difficult position. Here, white's ideas are king f7 and e5. In the game, Caruana took on c4, but that was a losing move, as Mamadiarov showed with a couple of checks, followed by king e6 and e4 e5. What black should have played was queen f3, the only move. At the press conference, Mamadiarov pointed out that e4 e5 is answered by queen h3 check, and then, after king e4, black must play queen h1 check, and it's perpetual, which Caruana had missed. If white plays queen g5 instead of e5, black can simply wait with the subtle king move king h7, and white cannot make progress. And so, at halftime, Temur Rajabov is the sole leader with 3 points. Let's see what the second half will bring.